Hi, welcome to my channel, Math Made Easy with Laurel. I'm Laurel, and in this video, I'm gonna give you some multiplication tips for multiplying numbers between six and nine. Learning the multiplication table can be very challenging, and particularly with numbers greater than five. If we take a look at this table, which is the multiplication table between one and 10, I'm going to focus on a little tip or trick that you can use to find the product of numbers between 6 and 9. So we're going to focus on a little technique that will allow you to find those numbers fairly easily. If you're required to write an aptitude test or a test in a program like nursing where you're not allowed to use a calculator, or if you're trying to teach your children the multiplication table, I think you might find this tip or technique very helpful if you are one of the many that struggle to remember those products. Let's take a look at the technique. I saw this technique years ago and I'm not sure where I saw it so I can't give credit to whoever came up with this idea but I thought it was a brilliant way to help people learn their times tables between six and nine. And I'm going to start off by doing examples but I don't want to start with these two products. I'm going to start with six times eight. So the, what you do to multiply six times eight is you count six on one hand. So five plus one, there's six. On the other hand, you count eight. So five, six, seven, eight. To find the product of six times eight, we take the fingers that are sticking up and those are gonna be your tens digits. So I have 10, 20, 30, 40. So I have four, I add these digits up and I have four of them, so that will be 40. Then I turn my hands around and look at the digits that are folded over. I have two here and four here. And what you do with these fingers that are folded over is you multiply them. So I have two times four, which is eight. So my answer is 48. So six times eight will be 40 plus eight, which is 48. That might have been a little confusing, so let's go through all of these. If I had six times nine, six times nine is five plus one, there's six. Nine is five, six, seven, eight, nine. So my product will be, I count these fingers, and that becomes my tens digit, so I have five of them, so that'll be 50. And then I turn it around, I have a one times four, one times four, is four, so it's 50 plus four, which is 54. Now let's take a look at these products. Notice I don't have seven times six, and that's because I have six times seven over here, which is the same, and I'm gonna come back to this shortly. If I wanna do seven times seven, seven is five plus two, and seven, five, six, seven. So seven times seven will be, I add these digits up, there's four of them and that's my new tens digit. So it'll be 40. I turn my hands and I have three times three. So it's three times three is nine. So my product seven times seven will be 40, nine. I do the same thing for seven times eight. Seven is five, six, seven. Eight is five, six, seven, eight. And my product will be, there's five, that's my tens digit, so 50. I turn it over and I have two times three, six. So my product is 50, six. Seven times nine is five, six, seven five, six, seven, eight, nine. When I multiply seven times nine, I take the fingers sticking up and I add them. So I have six and those, that's my tens digit. So 60, and then I turn it over. I have one times three, that's three. So my product will be 63. Let's move on to the products with eight. And again, I don't have eight times seven because I did seven times eight already. I don't have eight times six because I did six times eight already. 
let's take a look at eight times eight. So eight is five plus three, eight again. My product will be 60 and then two times two, 64. Eight times nine, five plus three. So there's an eight, five plus four. So eight times nine will be, I count these fingers out of seven. So it'll be 70, one times two, 72. Nine times nine, five plus four is, is my nine, five plus four. So nine times nine will be, I count all of these, that's eight of them, I multiply by 10, so it's 80, one times one, 81. Let's take a look at these two examples now. They're a little bit trickier, but I'll show you how they work. If we had six, so five plus one is six, five plus one is six. When we take a look at the fingers sticking up, there's only two. So two times 10 is 20. And then I look at the ones bent over. I have four times four is 16. So my product will be 20 plus 16, which is equal to 36. So a little bit more confusing because you're gonna have to carry. Same idea for six times seven. Six is five plus one. Seven is five plus two. So I t my tens digit will be the sum of these, so that's 30, I've got three, so that's 30. And then I take three times four, which is 12. So I'm gonna get 30 plus 12, and again, I have to carry, so I'm gonna get 42. I hope you find this technique helpful. You won't always have a calculator, but you're always gonna have your fingers.